Welcome back. Now, India's maiden F1 event is all set to take place in a week from now, and the venue will be the Buddha International Circuit in Noida. That's just outside Delhi. And F1 enthusiasts and all those who managed to get those uh, tickets are extremely excited. So, to tell us a bit more about the first uh, Grand Prix, we have in studio with us uh, Karun Chandok, India's second only F1 racer. So, Karun, tell us, uh, give us some highlights about this uh, Grand Prix. Uh, what can we expect? What's special about the circuit? And who are the big names? Well, first of all, uh, it's very nice to have F1 finally in India. Uh, I think for motorsport fans, which essentially we all are, uh, it's a day we've all waited for. Um, it's the only new race on the calendar this year. Um, you know, obviously we're going to have five world champions coming. Uh, Schumacher, Hamilton, Alonso, Vettel now coming as the new world champion crowned uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, and Jensen Button, apart from the entire uh, rest of the field. Uh, I think, I mean, I've been involved in the circuit since uh, sort of 2009, when it was just an empty field. I remember right. going there, it was just a piece of dirt, and sort of thinking, you know, how on earth is this going to happen in a year and a half? But full credit to the guys at JP, they pulled it off. And uh, the circuit is fantastic in terms of spectator In fact, we've heard a lot of praise about the circuit. What's, yeah. what's special about it or uh, different about it? Well, I was uh, the first person to drive around in May, and uh, when I first drove, I was, I was actually so impressed how they've created elevation changes. And as drivers, that's something we really enjoy. I think it gives a character when you're sort of going up and down and it's got camber changes and it, it makes it more interesting for us to drive. Uh, for the fans as well, it, it also means that the spectators are always sitting at an elevated height and looking down at the track. So wherever you sit, you know, whichever stand you guys have got tickets for, uh, you're right. going to see a huge part of the track, which is nice for new fans in, in India. Now, of course, uh, the Maiden Grand Prix hasn't been without its uh, share of hiccups and troubles. You've had uh, several issues and, and the latest, of course, the P uh, PIL, which uh, claimed that it's an elitist sport, it's not for the common man and therefore shouldn't get a tax exemption. Now, someone who's from within the sport, what would you have to say to that, that it being an elitist sport, that sort of uh, talk? I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's certainly a sport that in India today is not yet a mass sport. Uh, you know, there's, let's not shy away from hmm. the issue. But I don't think it's something we need to apologize for. I think it's something that we need to work on. I think it's, you know, we need to build up grassroots level. We need to make it accessible so that you or your friends, if you want to go racing, can do it easily. You know, we need to introduce more go-kart centers. We need to create uh, an, a, a stronger, we have a decent national level of racing, but we need to build that up. So, like I said, I don't think it's, it's something we need and to... And what does hosting a Grand Prix do for, for a country or for a city? Well, all of this obviously requires investment, you know, to, hmm. to go out and build car tracks and, and start up national events and national championships. You need manufacturers, you need sponsors, you need uh, not only the auto sector, but you need the corporate India at large to get involved. And I think, uh, you know, we've seen a massive amount of hype around Formula One. I mean, uh, I, I'm obviously a bit biased, but <laughs> outside of cricket, I can't really think of a recent event that's had as much hype. You know, this morning, I looked at five newspapers and they all had at least half page, if not a page, or a supplement about the F1 race. Uh, it's, it's fantastic to see the Indian media getting behind it, and therefore the public, you know, having And it to also helps the about. tourism in the area, it'll become, uh, it's an annual feature, this uh, Grand Prix. Yeah, I mean, I think people need to understand how big F1 is. You know, worldwide, there's 527 million viewers a year, which is a huge amount for Formula One. Uh, and therefore, you know, a Grand Prix, you have two hours on a Sunday, one hour on Saturday in qualifying. It's a three-hour ad for Brand India. It's a chance for us to show an event in our country, what we can do, what, we, what we're capable of. And also, you know, people will do features about Delhi City and, and the area around it. So, you know, it's a fantastic ad for, for our country. I think we've seen in places like Singapore, Abu Dhabi and Bahrain, for example, where, you know, F1 has genuinely resulted in an increase in tourism. Uh, an increase in revenues for the local economies. So I think there's a lot that can be benefited, uh, not just for the race, for the you know, people like me within the industry, hmm. but the local area as well. And uh, when will uh, we get to see you racing uh, in front of the home crowd? Well, at this uh, second, as I sit in front of you, I, I wish I had an answer. Uh, I will definitely be doing the, the free, free practice sessions on Friday morning uh, with Team Lotus, where I'm, you know, I've been a reserve driver this year. Uh, as far as the race, it's a question only Tony Fernandez and the team can answer. So um, I'll sit here like this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I know there's, a, there's been so many messages on my website and a lot of people on Twitter, you know, saying how much they'd love to see two Indians on the grid. Um, but unfortunately, it's something that's a little bit out of my hands to decide. 
All right. Well, let's uh, hope we do get to see you soon. Maybe if not this year, then next year for sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show and telling us about, uh, for people like me who don't know much about the Grand Prix event or about F1. So thanks for coming in. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.